Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Life Noding. In this episode, I'm gonna be um, giving like a demonstrations of how this um, iPhone 10 can talk to Blender again. I'm using actually um, this Add OSC add-on, and this is a custom app, custom app that I'm developing basically so that the iPhone 10 can send the blend shapes information non-stop in real time to Blender at 60 frames per second, hopefully. So I think my computer is uh, fast enough to do this now. And let's give a quick look. Um, I have something already. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah. I have this character and this is the one I tested earlier basically if I turn on the OSC and also I turn on the frame on this guy so now she should be kind of following my head and I actually with a Manuel Bastioni character it comes with some um, face blend shapes already and I'm just using whatever he has and then kind of adapting the, the blend shape from the iPhone 10 directly to the character so it, it gives pretty good um, pretty pretty good uh, performance actually it's, it's actually not too bad sometimes the smile I think can be improved but uh, yeah maybe it's just a matter of testing the character or perhaps creating a new blend shape. What I like about this character is that um, the eyeballs and then the teeth and everything's they are all generated and they all will work right away with the iPhone 10. So I'll give you a quick demo. I'm gonna start from scratch. So um, this Manuel, so Manuel Bastioni Lab, this is the name of the add-on. I try to contact um, the developer but I, I, so far I, I haven't managed to get any answer. But it's okay. Um, let me try creating something. Let's try a Caucasian female, and everything is gonna be the default pose and animations. I think just click on initial character, initialize the character, and at a f by a few seconds you get this character. And the nice thing about this character again, it comes with a face blend shapes, and it's kind of covering 50-60% of the blend shapes, like uh, the minimum requirement for iPhone 10 character, you know. And let's quickly have a look. Shape keys. Oh, it doesn't have shape keys yet. Oh, I, I probably need to finalize it. Okay, um, finalize it then. Let's name it Clara and finalized it with a texture and backup so hopefully it doesn't crash um, wait a few seconds so once the character is ready we can start to play around with the blend shapes we re we're really gonna focus on the on the face of the character all right Hopefully, oh yeah, see, now this character have uh, the blend shapes for us, which is cool. You know, like brows and then cheek, eye close, eye expression, jaw, mouth, all the basic, including pupils and eye directions. So let's save this Clara. I have another character I name it Claire. This one's gonna be Clara, 001 save okay so now the demo i'm gonna connect the iphone 10 into this character hopefully this works uh i have not tested um wait let me hide the lamp first so first of all i'm gonna import i'm gonna import uh, some empty from previous character so this character have uh, a bunch of objects kind of like a buffer object so empty grab all the empty 
append it and then file append also grab all the metrics I this is kind of like a work in progress uh, but I know it's just, it seems pretty good already so I want to show it to you so we have a bunch of empty this is gonna be like a buffer we're gonna connect it into the OSC and this is the OSC it should I should put it like um, 192.168.12 I think that's my address this one should be 4559 and if I start this everything should start moving hopefully I need to append also a script that I made from the text so I'm gonna grab all the text there is one this uh, script that I made to connect the blend shapes now um, we are almost ready I'm gonna go to note editor go to animation notes so yeah I'm using animation notes for this um, in actuality maybe it is could it could be faster with uh, Python and drivers but I think this is pretty good method because it, it is very visual so get a lot of stuff going on there and let me save this before and then let's turn on the add OSC so now you can see this buffer empty is moving that's a good sign select all the empty select all by type empty gonna move it to layer number two so we have this character and if I turn on animation nodes hopefully we start to see the character moving currently it doesn't move at all so I need to perhaps select the character so this one Clara Clara body right uh, yeah I need to select Clara body so copy this guy before I go too fast I probably need to paste Clara body into all these nodes this can be scripted using Python of course but you know at any time I can always kind of make this to work uh, this one will require um, objects what objects so this is the matrix this is the matrix buffer it goes into this guy and we need to select an object armature I think and I believe we also need to make changes to the armature so I need to go to edit mode um, quickly I'm gonna change the bone into x-ray select the head there change it to Euler so xyz Euler for the head and yeah I think it might be working hopefully soon if I turn on this guy so you can see the head is start moving so that's a good sign now I'm gonna stop this again and then continue copy pasting this uh, Clara body into each and every node so this hopefully it can be automated it's basically kind of connecting each and every blend shapes data from the iPhone 10 into blender so in the end ideally it should be like real-time in blender I tested 
on like 60 frames per second and it seems to work pretty well once I connect everything I can hide the node tree currently it, fe it feels like a bit slow but if I hide the node tree it's actually gonna be fast okay now uh, we just need to hide the armature go turn on always and switch to full screen and let's test Clara um, okay since I'm recording as well it's, so it feels slow and then okay this character actually I if I remove the subdivision it's gonna be a bit faster and this character I think I believe also there is one expression that's a little bit strange that I need to turn off maybe the mouse mouse bite if I turn off that guy it should looks a little bit more natural okay so there's something wrong with the eye blink maybe I didn't connect one of the eyes so the eye rotation seem to be working and yeah one of the blink doesn't work Oh, that work okay that seems to be fine just one of the eye is not connected so turn off this let me quickly check so Clara body this is where you need to be careful actually if you name everything correctly like the uh, eye blinks everything the notes is so easy to read this one error Clara body why is this giving me error expression I close expressions I close are max do we have expression with I closed There's expression I close are minimum. Huh, interesting. Maybe maybe it's missing one blend shapes. The I close maximum is not there somehow. So it's probably like a little bit of bugs with a this uh this character mm, so i close r is there i close my maximum is not there so anyhow that mean everything should work except for the the eyes one of the eye blink doesn't work so that's something to consider always so definitely i will give a feedback to manuel and then yeah, you can see the whole process doesn't take too long and since we have like a, this uh, character generator it's pretty cool I think really cool and you can quickly have a, like a, a good characters I guess it, it will work as a background character um, so yeah so there you go there's a quick demo of how we can use the iPhone 10 uh, face AR capture with Blender and Manuel Bastioni character generator hopefully you find this useful let me know what you think and i'll see you next time thank you bye